This is Luke Radowski of WeAreChange.org, and I just woke up to very surprising news to learn that YouTube has taken down the official Mark Dice YouTube channel. Now, Mark Dice worked really hard on his channel and had over 800 videos, 60 million views, 265,000 YouTube subscribers, all gone in a matter of seconds. Now, I'm good close friends with Mark. He just called me. He's very shocked. He doesn't know what to do. Me and him collaborated on many videos. Some were on his channel, some were on mine, but you could actually see some of the videos we did. Uh, I mean, we together did a lot of great stuff. We went down to Washington, D.C. and acted as tour guides at the National Archives and showed unsuspecting tourists Operation Northwoods and had them freak out. We trolled and filmed the Federal Reserve in Washington, D.C. We confronted U.S. Senator Barbara Boxer until she had to leave the Senate building. And then we also set up fake Big Brother talking cameras in San Diego in collaboration with Abby Martin. Now, you can see those videos here, but I know Mark had a lot better content on his channel. He worked his whole um, last seven years on building this thing up. It was his entire life. Now those videos are gone on Mark Dice's channel and over 800 other original great videos that Mark has produced by himself. Now that's not the worst part of it. The worst part of it is that people like myself and Mark, and especially Mark, since he's been putting all of his energy, time, and dedication into building his YouTube channel, we live off YouTube. YouTube shares some of the advertising revenue it gets from us and it gives it to the user, to the people who are publishing and making videos. That includes people like Mark. Now when you take that away, when you delete all his work, take away his channel, you take away his livelihood, you take away his self-made business, you take away everything he worked so hard for in a matter of eight years and it's gone without any way to even dispute it which is insane. Now the other insane part of this story is that YouTube six days ago has announced that they're giving 200 people, government and non-government employees, the ultimate power to flag and take down videos. Now this doesn't make any sense at all because it's like having an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting in spring break during an open bar. You know people are going to take advantage of the situation and mess up because they have certain weaknesses and the government's weaknesses is they hate criticism and they hate anybody going up against them. And if they have the power to take you down, they will, which could have happened with Mark Dice. Now, just think about this. One of the people, one of the groups that are allowed these powers by YouTube is the British Intelligence Police. This is the same police agency that monitors social media and sees when people are going to protest uh, the royal wedding, for an example. This actually did happen. They go to their house the day before and arrest them for 24 hours so they can't protest the royal wedding. This is a police department that actively arrests you for wanting to protest their government. Now this is the same agency that now has the right and authority to take down your videos if they deem them inappropriate. Now what do you think is going to happen with that? Obviously, we just saw what happened with Mark Dice, but Mark Dice was smart enough to have a backup channel called youtube.com forward slash the resistance. You could actually subscribe to that here. Let's please send a strong message to not only YouTube, not only to this new censorship police, that if you take one of us down, we're going to come up twice as hard. So I hope those 265,000 YouTube subscribers become half a million subscribers on Mark's new channel. Now, of course, another thing I would ask for you guys to do, since we are also under threat, one of our videos was recently flagged and we had a strike on our channel. YouTube works in a particular way. If you have three strikes, your video's taken down. And usually they're for copyright infringement. Now, a couple days ago, I got a copyright infringement after I interviewed the founder and CEO of the DJI Phantom, the flying drone. I found him. I interviewed him one-on-one -on -one about how the DJI Phantom is working with the Chinese government to make sure the DJI Phantom GoPro Quadrocraptor uh, camera doesn't fly and film in places like Tiananmen Square protest zones. I confronted the CEO on this. It was all original video. He was very uncomfortable. He didn't want to answer the questions, but the video still went out there and someone claimed it as theirs. Now we have a strike. We get two more. Our videos are taken down. Now we have a lot of important videos with David Rockefeller's Bing F. Brzezinski, Henry Kissinger, Tony Blair, Bill Clinton, all confronted on their lies, all lying, all caught in the act with the cookie in their hand. And those videos are a threat too. So you could go to Mozilla, get an add-on, and download all those videos. 
Uh, right here, more information will be posted about that as well. Now, Mark had a backup channel. We're going to have another backup channel now where we're going to be talking about what's going on, what's happening. Uh, just vlogs from me. It's called Luke We Are Change. So just go to youtube.com forward slash Luke We Are Change. You can subscribe here. Click here for our backup channel. In case anything happens, we will always now have a backup. Now, don't let this deter you. Let's show how strong we are as a community and let's galvanize around Mark Dice. Follow him on Twitter. Follow him on Facebook. Don't forget to subscribe to his second backup channel because together we are the resistance. I'm here with Mark Dice and Adam Kokesh and I decided to take them outside the Central Federal Reserve Banking building here in Washington, D.C. And whenever you come here and you take out a video camera, the police run at you like rabid dogs. So. Right now, just yeah. the Bilderberg meeting happened, uh, you know, no major media press coverage, 120. Do you know about the Bilderberg group? It looks like you do, I just don't want to talk about it, Ms. I mean, Barber. Just one, one statement about the Bilderberg 